Yeah, sure. Welp, they sure weren't lying. Urban Nightmare really did kick me in the face. Hell, shot me in the fucking balls. Up until this point, the game was really straightforward and easy. And yes, I did see the memes, but I thought they were exaggerating. Looking back, I think they were undermining how difficult the game really was. Urban Nightmare isn't like running into a wall. It's like driving into a freaking mansion going 120 in the freeway. Enough for for now. Let's talk about the most memorable reflections for me. Ah uh, yes, the puppeteer reception. The first actual reception I was able to beat. Sure, did it take me a couple dozen tries? Yes. But at least it got me familiar with the concept of being outnumbered and dealing with multiple acts. From this reception, I was able to learn the best strategy in the entire game. Bowling. I wouldn't say this reception was difficult, but I was stuck on it for a few runs. The only thing pushing me to beat the reception as quickly as possible was this god forsaken music. I will say though that the pre-battle story was pretty long and I thought I was playing Limbus Cody for a second. Ah oh yes, the sweepers. They'll forever be a place in my heart full of hatred for these things. This is the first reception I tried to complete when I first unlocked Urban Nightmare. It did not go well. At all. Even after I got the hang of the mechanics, this was still a difficult reception. I'm not even sure I got through. That mentioned the fact that they regain an additional 30 HP once they hit zero. It's even worse when one of your librarians die, cause then re they regen like 15. Even with the bullying strat, you still have to pray to RNGs that your attacks pass 30 health regen. This reception was BS, but it wasn't even as bad as... I hate this reception for two reasons. Number one, Gordon Freeman. I know his name's not Gordon Freeman, it's Philip, but he looks like him. You can't tell me you don't see the comparison. Why is this reception so freaking long? I kid you not, it's like 30 to 45 minutes. It's not even funny. I really hope I don't have to do that reception ever again. But you should have seen the smile on my face when I finally turned Gordon Freeman into books. Like, that was crazy. As an editor's note, um, after rewatching the footage, he did not turn into books. Um, that's Star of the City's me problem now. I'm not dealing with that right now. I mean, it's about time I finally killed him. Like, after three freaking receptions, I finally get to kill the little son of a bitch. Anyway, did I mention how gimmicky the fight was? Oh my god, you can't even see where they're attacking. You, The only reason I was able to beat this entire reception is because the little button known as P over there. And if it wasn't even for the ego pages that I unlocked right before this reception, I don't even know what I would do. Well, that seems like a good segue to our next section. Ah oh, yes. The Angela realizations, quite possibly the best part of the entire game so far. I'm not even joking. Not sure why. The combat is exactly the same, but for some reason there's just like slightly a little bit more satisfaction. The music slaps, and this, I don't know, just going phase by phase, it's really like a whole different experience, I will say. Now you might be saying, but where are the abnormalities? I know people say that Urban Nightmare abnormalities are difficult. Come on, AK-47, it's just the best strategy. I don't know, they're kind of easy, not gonna lie. Sure, they were gonna make me sure, but like, come on, bro. You, you guys made Queen of Hatred seem like such a much bigger deal than it actually was. I mean, just look at this clip. Was that easy? And those are my thoughts on Urban Nightmare. It's not a lot. I just want to get my thoughts off. 